Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of one variable equations. This is standard 8.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the redesign practice online star test which is a new item type called equation. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to just enter our answer in, even though it's called the equation, really it's just acting like the free response items to where we just type in something and we just move on. And that's all we really need to do. And if, uh, if you leave it blank and try to move on to next, it will say there is an, an error. So let's open up our graph draw feature here. Let's see what we've got. We've got a one variable equation with X, but we've got X on both sides, right? So let's rewrite this right here. We have to pay very close attention to our place value because you notice we've got some that go to the hundredths place and then that 0 0.002 goes to the thousandths place. So I could see place value being important here. So first let's deal with our variable. Let's get that X on one side and let's move it over to here, over to the left side. If we do that, right, so we're going to end up subtracting three hundredths times x from both sides, and we can actually keep it as a positive x. We could do it to the other side, but then we'd get a negative 14 hundredths, and we would just have to multiply by everything by negative one. Kind of a pain, all right? So that's your zero. So what do we have here? So we're gonna bring our constants down here. All right, so really, uh, now we just have this negative three hundredths and then we've got the negative two thousandths so in order to since I've got my variable over on the left side I'm gonna move this I'm gonna add three hundredths to both sides but now we're getting a little bit tricky we could flip those and we could do three hundredths minus uh, two thousandths but we also have the calculator so let's just go ahead and use that let's pull that over here a little bit and you see I've already done that for us here, right? I've got our uh, two negative two thousandths uh, plus three hundredths. That's going to equal, you see we've got this right here. So now I'm with 0 0.14x and then equals 0 0.028, 28 thousandths, okay? So now we just divide both sides by 14 hundredths, we should get our answer, right? So let's divide the answer by 14 hundredths. Okay, looks like it could be a very simple 2 tenths, 0 0.2. How do we double check to make sure this works? Well, let's plug this back in to the original equation. Let's see what, what happens. We get this right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what this side equals, right? So there's many ways to do it, but I'm just gonna type it in just like I see it. Uh, 0.17, I'm gonna use the parentheses for 0.2. Calculator knows that's multiply. Then I'm going to subtract 0.03. What do I get? All right, so I get 0 0.004. I get four thousandths on that side. Let's see what happens if I do that on the other side, right? So I'm going to get 0 0.03. And then let's do multiply that by 0 0.02. That's what I think my x is. And then I'm going to subtract 0 0.002. And look at that. 0 0.004. All right, so my x equals 0 0.2 works. Now we need to just plug that in. So there are a few different options here, All right? So you can just type in uh, 0.2. That would work if you really want to. You can type in, use that fraction button. You can hit two, then hit the denominator, and you can type it in as two tenths, right? That would also work because that technically is correct. You can do uh, 0 0.2, any of those work.